Hello again. It's so nice to be able to record a bit without losing a lung or sounding like I've clothespin on my nose. Although I still have a nasal accent as I am a Wisconsin native. First, I'd like you to check your grades and make sure that everything is accounted for. If you find a discrepancy and would like to discuss it, just email, call, text, or Skype me. I just want to make sure that everyone is on the same page before I post my commentary and your midterm grades. Second, I was pleased with our passive and active resistance wiki posts and discussions. These are always very illuminating as they reveal the diversity of humanity and our responses to oppression and suffering. There was and still is a continuum as to how we humans respond to our worlds. Some people always favor passive resistance over active. Some people always label active resistance as violent, whereas militant radical isn't always mean violent either. I've had innumerable students say to me over the years that if they lived in the era that we have been studying, they would have been an abolitionist, a slave revolt leader, etc. While I appreciate the effort to place oneself in someone else's mindset and time period, it's very easy to do that when we're living in 2017. And as the old adage says, hindsight history is always 2020. My response to those claims have always been, what oppression or suffering is going on presently? And moreover, what are you and I doing about it? Again, it would be great to have these exchanges face to face. However, this is not the case with an online class. So indeed, we're making lemonade out of lemons. If you ever want to meet face to face, always know that I'm available to do so. I love meeting with my students outside of class time. Third, this week we're embarking on our Module 3, 19th Century Free African Society, the Independent Black Church, Anti-Slavery and Abolition. Besides starting our module work, you should also be reading your selected text, participating in your text discussion blogs, and even writing. I'll be grading like a madwoman as I have your midterms as well as my gender and women's history midterms coming in on Wednesday. I will be providing a commentary along with my grading notes. If you have any questions once the grades have been posted, please contact me and I'd be happy to discuss them with you. I also look forward to reading your evaluations on this course and me. I promise I'll try to make improvements where I can for this semester. Any other critiques I'll make sure to incorporate in my future courses. Thanks so much for your input. I've benefited so much from my former students' recommendations, as have all of you. Be sure to check in with the Lennox Lounge periodically to either post something yourself and or read any other relevant posts that are contained within. Again, if there's anything I can do to ensure that you have access to all the coursework and make sure that you're progressing well in the course, do not hesitate to contact me. Have a great week studying the Free African Society, the Independent Black Church, and the Antebellum Years.